Welcome back to the channel everybody and happy Easter. So it's Easter bank holiday. Um, a little bit early in the year for bass fishing on the soft plastics but April is only a couple of days away. Now a lot of people would say that April is the start of the lure fishing season for bass. Some hardcore anglers fish for them all year round on lures but April is the start of lure fishing for bass. I'm going to dedicate this Easter bank holiday to lure fishing for bass and who knows what else will turn up. But it is hopefully to show a few tips towards bass fishing and uh, I'm going to dedicate this video to my dad that's sadly no longer with us. The best bass angler that, in my opinion, ever set foot on Anglesey. Now, if dad was still with us, he'd say, you fool, you're fishing too early, there's still snow on the mountains and you don't fish for bass on lures or for the big bass until that snow has completely gone in the start of the year. Yes, you get bass all year round on the beaches and you tend to pick them up in the winter on big fish baits, but there's a bit of spring in the air, I'm itching to get on them, so I'm gonna do my best, dedicate this video over a couple of sessions over the Easter bank holiday. So it's now um, Saturday, so we're right into the Easter bank holiday. Please do keep tuned. You'll watch me go into some deep water that I'm well aware of where the gullies are and where to stand and where not to stand. So please keep tuned and I hope you enjoy this video. The soft plastics. Not quite what I was expecting this evening, but a lovely coley on a soft plastics. Welcome to Fishing and Country Life with Tommy Joe. In search of big bass. I know it's not a bass, but a lovely coley all the same. <laughs> I hope I'm in screen guys, I'm not quite sure. But there we are, a lovely coley on the soft plastics. So guys, I'm out in the water, as you can notice. Now I've been fishing this mark for 30 plus years. Bang! Yeah, this is a fish. What's this? This is definitely not a coley. It's stripping line. Obviously you guys can't see this. Um, I have to do the voiceover, but it's stripping line. And in a moment, it goes up against the flow. Now, as I say, I've been fishing this mark for 30 years. I know my limits. I know exactly how far out I can wade and where not to wade. Only the moment an absolute disaster happens where the camera decides to turn off due to not enough space in my storage to having too much junk in the phone. But do keep watching guys, this is not a coley. It's now stripping line, going up against the tide and keeping deep. I know I'm into something decent here. And is it going to be? Is it going to be? Boom! A bar of silver. A cracker at that. An absolute top condition fish. I'm over the moon. Unfortunately, the camera did turn off, but I was take, I'd done this clip to get a picture for myself, but absolutely over the moon. First bass anyway. Let's uh, get her recovered and we'll get her back. Come on, guys. Come on, up here, come. 
There we are. She'll find her feet now. Lovely, lovely, clean fish. Lovely, clean fish. It's good to put them back. Um, you know, they take years to grow to a good, decent size. There she goes. She's found her feet. It's good to put them back and let them fight for another day. And they're absolutely fantastic fun and light gear. Guys, it's just hit the lure on the surface. Check it out. Another nice coley. These will make some lovely eating, these guys. On the surface. On a popper. And I'm filling the bag. <laughs> As you can see, on the popper. Off the surface. Good evening, everyone. And we're going into night two. We're back out on the lures. I've got Daz in the background there. And obviously filming is quite hard work when you're doing this sort of video. It's absolutely freezing cold, guys. Um, but we're out. We're targeting bass. I've seen one move. Um, we're trying to do, as I said, I think I said earlier on in the video, I'm doing this video over the Easter bank holiday. It's now Easter Sunday and it's coming up to a about six o'clock it's bitterly cold out here tonight guys but do keep tuned um, once we've got some dry land we've waded out a good 300 yards out to get to a channel once uh, and that is not advised unless you know the area um, but once we get to uh, some dry land I'll bring you back for some proper footage unless one of us finds a fish if it comes off, it comes off. You got it? Fuck it. I think I've lost it. Take him into a bit of weed on it's a bloody good fish. Still on there. Second night out guys, not a bass, but a nice coley. Happy days, let's see if we get some bigger ones, eh? As I say, when we get to dry land, we'll get you some better footage. Thanks to Daz there, he's just grabbed the phone off me straight away. More paranoid about dropping it in the sea than filming. But yeah, <laughs> we're happy with that. Fish. Um, obviously filming something like, that, like this video is quite hard to do. Um, I do have plans moving forward as the weather gets a bit warmer. I've now got a GoPro which I'll set up and stuff like that. Um, but a couple of tips, it's cold, um, it's like, uh, it, it's Baltic out here. So yeah, please bear with us. Some parts of the video, obviously you will notice, will be uh, speak over um, because I can't do the actual filming where I've set it all up and I'm out in the water where you will have seen with the bass clip and with some of the coley clips. Um, so just a quick look um, at the rod that I'm using. Cracking rod, absolutely fantastic. Don't think you have to spend a fortune to go targeting bass or lures. Um, this rod comes retail under about 80 quid and it is the Omen. Now that there is an absolute powerful rod. A bit too powerful, a lot of you bass anglers and plug people will say, but I use that for fishing in the heavy kelp, um, fast tides, and I can even chuck out a two ounce lead if I need to with this rod. This one here is a nine foot. Let me just make sure I'm right on that. Um, it is the, yeah, it's the nine foot version. Um, on that, I've got a Daiwa Ninja 6,000. How I say it? No, 4,000. Daiwa Ninja 4,000 on that. Um, quite simple setup. Another tip for fishing with the lures this time of year. It's cold, it's Baltic. You're reeling in, you're in the water and doesn't matter what waterproof gear you've got on, the water goes up your sleeves and gets your jumper wet and obviously makes your hands cold. So I put a bit of uh, electrical tape just around, just stops the water going up and keeps you warm. Anyway, I'm going to try and keep the video, the bits of the video as short as I can over the next couple of days. Obviously put it all into one video, hopefully get about 20 minutes of footage. I hope you're enjoying it. I will look at some lures with you. Um, before the end of this video 
and we will talk about lures. Hopefully we can bring a big bass to screen um, with footage of that and not the camera going off like it did on the other one. But uh, yeah, guys, we're fishing, we're targeting bass, spring is on the way, please do keep tuned and uh, let's see what else we can find, eh? Daz has got into a fish. Daz has got into a fish. Another nice coley. You're gonna bring it around this way, I'll I'll gilly it for you. I'll gilly it you. If it comes off now, it's not my fault, okay? Apologies about the wind, guys. It is blowing and it's a freezing cold easterly. Not the best conditions, but here we go. I'm into a fish. We've got action. The rod's bent over. Daz is on the camera. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> Have one of mine. <laughs> <laughs> nice coldly though. The way it hit that, it steamed off. I thought it was a bass, but uh, all good fun, eh? Yeah, thanks, mate. <laughs> right, guys, it's pitch black now. As you can see, well, you can't see because it's pitch black. And and Daz is into a fish. I wish he's swimming actually towards me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the infrared on Daz, just so we can see what's going on a bit. What is it, a bass or a coley? Mate, it's a cracker, an absolute cracking coley. And there you are guys, that's in the pitch black. That's a proper on that as well mate. Um, you're going to walk it out. That's in pretty much pitch black now. And a cracker, a proper nice fish. Ah, you got some of them secret weapons there in your box, I see. Well done, mate. Absolute cracker, and as you can see, guys, it's now pitch black. Anyway, we'll turn it off for a bit. If I can work out how to do that. And now going into the Easter Bank Holiday Monday. So, um, as you can see, just by there, there's a tripod. Now, I... I am sort of doing this video dedicated towards lure fishing, but it's absolutely hammering it down, raining, as you might be able to notice in the camera. I have got my lure rod, let me just show you. I have got my lure rod, but I've also got my bait rod with me today. Um, so today will be the end of this video, so whatever the results will be, will be. <laughs> um, I'd like to thank you all that have stayed this far into the video. There's going to be a lot of sort of bass fishing videos this this coming year um, because I am dedicated to try and catch a bass of £10 on my dad's old rod. Now, sadly, I lost my dad 12 years ago. Um, and to me, he was the best angler, best bass angler and best angler um, for light fishing for bass ever um, but he was my dad and I'm proud to have called him my dad so uh, yeah I'm you know I, I'm about to think that but people that do, do, did know my dad would uh, also know that he was a good bass angler so on the bait rod there I've got my dad's old bass rod um, it's actually an old carp rod um, but a couple of months ago, I got, I think it was about a month or so ago, I got it rebuilt by the local rod builder um, because I'd let it go a bit and let it get sort of tired um, and abused it in the last 12 years. So uh, I've had it rebuilt and I'm hoping to try and catch a big bass on it this year. Anyway, it's absolutely horrible, wet, rainy. Um, as you noticed in the start of the video, we've had bass and coleys, 
Um, Daz joined me last night and Daz had Coley's and I had Coley's. I haven't yet put the footage together so I haven't got a clue what it looks like but I hope it turns out okay for the video. Um, there's just one thing that I'd like to note guys and this is really really important for, from my perspective of things. Nobody is an expert in fishing. We all have opinions and this is most probably the thing that I love most about fishing. No two anglers are the same. You may see an angler doing something and think, ah, what's he doing that for? That won't work, but it works for him. And you might see an angler do something that you've never seen before and go, ah, I like that idea. So if anybody thinks that they're an expert, they're not. Um, some people put in more time than others. Some people live in better parts of the country than others for certain fish. Um, and yes, there is skill to fishing, and some people can cast further, some people know how to work a lure a little bit better, some, de some people know how to bait up a little bit better, but there is no actual professional angler out there. All I can say to you is get out there fishing, do what you think is right, and do it safe. Well, it is raining, I was going to show you some lures, and I hope to show you some lures before the end of this video. Um, and go over some lures if we don't get to that in this video there will be more videos of lure fishing um, I am going to chuck the lure about a bit in in a little while the tide's now flood and I'm going to let it flood a little bit more um, there's just a big deep hole in front of me here where I put a crab bait um, so yeah let's just see what happens and I will try and bring a bit of footage in this video looking at the well, there we are guys, <laughs> yet again, the coalies are in town, nice coalie on the lure, let's see what else happens, definitely plenty of coalies about and it must still be a little bit too early for them bass. Well guys this video is coming to an end, the sun's now out, it's glorious and it's almost time for me to head off from this mark home to get something to eat before I head out tonight to fish with the bait. So I'm going to end this video with a quick look at some lures. So lures, you can definitely get carried away when it comes to lures. Plastics, uh, sorry, soft rubbers and plastics. And then you've even got your metals. Now, I'm no expert on lures, but there is a couple of things that I do know. You don't have to spend a fortune on lures. The cheaper lures will do. The only thing I would recommend would buy some better trebles or single hooks, your preference, and change the, the, the hook on a cheaper lure because they aren't quite as good. Well, they're definitely not as good as a good branded hook. Um, another thing that I know is that the cheaper lures don't cast as well and may not move as well in the water as a more expensive and better brand lure. I am going to go more into that into depth in my next video um, of lure fishing. And uh, I'm going to show you how I set up from start to finish in my next lure video. And the reasons that I do things the way that I do them. Um, what I will tell you guys is a lure will catch the angler before the fish. I am a big believer if the fish are there feeding on a certain certain bait, um, it doesn't matter what lure you've got, if you can't match it, you won't catch it. It's as simple as that. Um, but I also believe if there isn't a lot of food there and there's fish in the area, you will catch them chucking out any type of lure. That's my preference. Anyway guys, I'm gonna leave it there for today. So thank you for tuning in. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And until next time, keep safe, keep fishing and keep chasing them dreams.